Before we get into this episode, I just want to let you guys know if I sound crazy or if it takes me a little bit to wake up, I got no joke, like three hours of sleep last night, but I had to wake up for Demon Slayer, so it'll take me one, a little, just a little bit to wake up. So I apologize, but I know within the first 30 seconds, I'll be right back to normal because this show is something else. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Demon Slayer Season 2, Episode 15 or Episode 8, depending on what you're looking at. This one is called The Gathering. Last episode, we had not only Nezuko come to back from her little rampage rage mode with a little crying, with a little, I don't want to say tantrum, but it was very similar how uh, Nezuko and Daki both cr were crying, had a little bit of a fit, you know, or upset. And then for Tan uh, Nezuko, Tanjiro came and saved the day, came in clutch. And for Daki, her brother also came in clutch and saved the day, for her at least. Uh, Gyutaro, so we're going to find that he's the true upper moon, a lot stronger. He was able to reattach her head, heal her burn that she wasn't able to heal earlier, dodge Tengen, attack Tengen, like he already used his demon blood art. I am just overall hyped. I got to find out what's going on in today's episode. Ah, I'm so excited. Don't forget, if you guys want the full length version of this show and early access and the full length of all the other shows I'm watching on the channel, make sure to click that link in the description for that Patreon. Check that out. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment down below it really does help me with that youtube algorithm don't forget to follow all the social medias instagram twitch tiktok twitter all the dapper darius don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel let's hop into this demon slayer season 2 episode 15 gathering let's do this all right the moonlit night all right we got her nice and safe on the box Sleep tight now. You did work. It's time for us to go help out our boy Tengen. Can we really help him out though? How injured we are? We gotta do something. Okay, he answered my question almost immediately. Especially after what happened with Red and Goku, he'd have a special, special wanting to fight to the very end, you know? Alright, episode 8 gathering. Ooh, that new background for Gyotaro looks crazy. You're full of swagger. You know, this Tengen's dope. Tengen got the drip. Maybe that's a good thing he's not like the Hashiro you killed. Maybe that'll mean he'll win. Damn, he's trying to humble him. Enigmas. Ooh, we're thinking of the stone Hashira. You to the Hashira in two months? Is that serious? The missed Hashira? And he had to work damn hard for it. Nah, if he's hyping up the stone and the missed Hashira like that, I respect it, Tengen. I respect it. Poison doesn't, you know. Reminds me of another show I watched. Nine brothers and sisters. I love that visualization of the shinobi life. Only himself and his brother survived of nine brothers. Really? That's crazy. Resolutely indifferent. He wanted to live a flashy life. And that's why he's so adamant on protecting his wives, you know? That's the thing, no matter what the hardship may be, they always persist, they always fight on, so that you can protect other people's lives. And I like how he's, oh, you can see he's just now starting to form, it's nowhere near, oh, wow. He was probably so happy to hear that. See, I really respect the master of the core, especially for being able to win over so many hearts, you know? He's ready to dance. Tempura Udon does sound fire. Good kick. Let's see if we can separate the two. Oh, good grenades. That is interesting. 
Wow, it does a good amount of damage to a demon's body. And by the time you're focused on those grenades, he's already on you. That was so close, too. He's beheaded Doki twice in like 15 minutes. Oh. Are we going to be able to handle one on one now? Are we going to have Tengen versus Gyutaro and Inosuke and Zenitsu versus Daki? And Tanjiro's coming in. Never mind. We got the whole squad here to help out. Look at the kid. Talk about flashing entrances. He appreciates it. All right. I don't know who I want to see go ham more. Tengen or the squad? But I definitely want our main trio to be fighting Daki and not Gutaro just because they don't have the poison resistance that fucking Tengen has. So they could actually die. Hey. The man's got your back. Don't worry. You need any help with the confidence? He's right there. Or my brilliant Suguko. Hell yeah. I mean, that is true. Both of you at the same time. And he sees Ren Goku in him as well. In his confidence and his perseverance to save people and stop these demons. That's got to give such a... Mm. 22 total Hashira. No hesitation, doesn't even say it. What is that, a sevenfold? Takes Daki straight up to the clouds. Oh my god, Zenitsu. So it's two verse, two verse one and two verse one. I thought it was going to be three verse Daki and then Tangan and Guitar together. I remember that. That was the whole thing that got fucking Zenitsu caught in the first place. He's turned into calm, cool, and collected sleep fucking <laughs> judicial Zenitsu. I like how her and her brother are talking in tandem right now. That is the most demented way of living ever. They have one conjoined eye that shows their, them together. Oh no, he can use one of his eyes on her. They literally are conjoined. So he can have constant tabs on everything. Oh my god. The second he moves even a muscle in the... Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank the Lord Tengen's there. Saved his ass. And Daki's still coming in fucking insane. It was kind of a lie. This was like an impromptu mission between us, and we aren't his real Suguko. But it'd be so fire to be his Suguko. Oh my god, this animation is so gorgeous. Oh my- Oh my god, my man Tengen! Oh, those explosives were so clutch. Oh my god. This fight. Oh my god, this shit looks beautiful. Oh my god, Tengen is so fast. I'm struggling to keep up with my eyes and I have a fucking Sharingan. Tanjiro actually doesn't become a hindrance, he's saving the day. It's the first time I've seen him breathe in in so long, a few episodes at least. Nice, we were able to ward that off. String perform- I, I should be damn fucking watching an orchestra. That's how beautifully this episode is composed. A scratch would be so deadly. He has an animal instinct telling him that. Oh my God, bro. I don't think Demon Slayer has had better animation than this episode. Like combined animation. 
be useful. I like how he's trying to be useful in the minuscule ways he can. And he is. Oh my god. I'm telling you, I have not seen such flawless animation throughout this entire episode. This is Suma. Okay, Suma! What are you doing coming in clutch? You know, if you think if they have explosives for demons, they're not gonna have kunai for demons? Yes. He's actually pretty smart when he's thinking about it like that. Tengen's right on his ass. Oh, and one of them hit him. It just depends on how fast he's gonna regrow his legs. They are. That's so clutch. With the kunai edge right there. See if you can pick up. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me just say, that animation, that fight, the choreographing, Zenitsu, Inosuke, Tanjiro, and Tengen, all, oh my god, Daki and Gutaro as well, all just absolutely breathtaking. I, I have a few friends who I know IRL that always ask me every Sunday nowadays, they're like, hey, was the episode fire? Because I always watch them before them because I wake up to watch them, they just watch them when I get up, you know, get the work done, and then they watch them. There, I was like, hey, was it fire? There are certain episodes where I'm like, hey, hey, I know you're gonna love this. Like, this is one of those where I can tell every single person who watches it is gonna enjoy this episode for the fights, for the battle analytics, for the animation, for the, the music. Oh my god, the music goes so off at times for Tanjiro, for everything, Tengen, the sound. Oh, like, I'm telling you, the blood demon art, like, everything in this episode was brought up to an S, S level, everything, the music everything in terms of how it flowed oh and I, I loved at the beginning when Gutaro was talking about how special and blessed um Tengen must be because of how he's born with good looks and swagger and he's dripping with swagoo and all that and then Tengen hypes up the other Hashiras and brings himself down to say you're crazy I was never blessed he talked about the stone um who is my friend's favorite Hashira so far he isn't he's like on me he knows nothing about him but in terms of the most anticipated Hashira he's wanting to see it's the guy with the necklace who's fucking ripped who has the scar on his head who's always crying and says like Nami I don't know what he says you guys know what he says he says like this is a signature thing and then he was talking about the missed Hashira how you can pick up a sword and become a Hashira in two months like nah there's no way that has to be something fake like this man is something just I mean, this man doesn't have a care in the world. This man's looking up like, oh, those are cool clothes, yeah. He's like the Shikamaru of this world. So, I mean, I guess I could see that. It makes sense. And then we had Tengen talking about his brother and how his brother was the only one who survived the training or the Shinobi lifestyle. Well, his bro a lot of his brothers had died up until his age of 15, in which his father, due to the decline of their clan and the, the, and the heirs being dead, took... Uh, extra precautions we can say and force him to undergo brutal training in which him and his brother are the only ones that survived and his brother took on his father's ideals to a T and Tengen didn't want to be like that and so because of how much he was accepted into the Demon Slayer core he has like a he has like a desire to to fulfill the blessings of his master so much more like he's willing to lay his life on the line at any point because you know because this is the life he wants to live and I love how Deku, or I said, this is like my third time saying Deku this episode for Tanjiro. I watched My Hero last night, and I'm very tired, guys. I will say that. But, um, and I love how Tanjiro saw Rengoku in him because of the levels of respect, the perseverance, the willingness to put your life on the line for whatever it may, whatever it may be, you know? It's like, this is a true Hashiro right here. Tengen fits the bill. He's a part of it. I cannot wait to see this fight. I cannot wait to dive deeper into this. I'm so mad. I got to wait till next Sunday. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to check out that full length over on the Patreon. Follow all the social medias. All that jazz. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Be safe out there, Dapper Squad. Have a great day. Peace.